four lamps, each cast the resistance 60 ohms, as uh, shown in the figure, determine the power in each lamp. The lamp A burns out, calculate the power in each lamp and the potential difference across the burnt out lamp. The lamp A here burnt out, which means uh, this part of the circuit, the two light bulb will not shine. Therefore, the current already passed through the bottom light bulb here and, and this light bulb. We can calculate the resistance of the new circuit, including only two uh, light bulbs instead of four. The current will not run through the upper part, okay? Yep. The next, the next light bulb here will also not shine. Yep. The power each lamp. Uh, for power, you can use uh, the equation V square over R, but you need to calculate the voltage across each light bulb, or we should uh, calculate the current. So in the new cases, the total resistance is 60 plus 60. When the light bulb A burnt out, the current will not flow through the light bulb uh, B, but only through C and D. That's the first and most important thing. The total resistance of the circuit, please write down here. Uh, the total resistance is 60 ohm plus 60 ohms, which is 120 ohms. 120 ohms. Okay, the current provided by the battery is 30 volts divided by this total resistance, 30 volts divided by 120, so that is one fourth, meaning 0.25, uh, 0.25 amperes. Okay. The power, the power will be calculated by the equation I square times R. Okay. So the power of each light bulb is one over four, one fourth ampere here squared, and then times the resistance, 60 ohms. Uh, you, you can write 0 0.25, 0 0.25 square. 120. 60, 60. Time resistance, 60. Okay. Uh, because the question is the power of each lamp, not two lamps, okay? Each yep. lamp. And the potential difference, potential difference across each light, uh, okay, across the burnt out lamp, across the burnt out lamp will be the same as the voltage across this um, light bulb C, which means that voltage will be equal to the current 0.25 amperes times this resistance, 60 ohms, okay? Yeah. That voltage is 0.25 times 60. Let me demonstrate that. We have um, three light bulbs and another light bulb here, a battery, I will increase the voltage of this battery, and it is burnt out. It is like we open the switch. Yeah. Uh, when it is burnt out, it is like opening the switch here. Mm. Yep. Opening the switch and therefore there will be no current passing through each light bulb above this uh, top part of the circuit. But because the, re the total resistance of the circuit is changed, the voltage applied to this light bulb will be different. Where different from when closing the switch, see? Closing the switch, the resistance of the circuit, the whole circuit is changed. Yep. Therefore, yeah, the voltage applied to this thing is also different. And the voltage across the burnt out, okay, that is zero, yeah, zero. But if we uh, burnt out zero, let me find the answer of this one. I think it is just the same as the voltage down here, which means, uh, yeah, 10.53. Let me find the answer of that. That is question number, what's the number? Number, where? Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, in the book. 5.16. Yeah, okay. Potential different, part B. The lamp B has no, gets no current. The lamp B takes no current, potentially across it is zero. 
the potential reading across the point X and Y is the same at across the lamp C. Okay, yeah, yeah. You see from this answer, the potential difference across X and Y, which means across the burnt out light, light lamp, is the same as the, the voltage applied to C. Okay? Yeah.